So I would say smash the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button so that we can hit 700. But now we're at 700. Am I going to have to move it to 800 and eventually 1,000 subscribers? I may just have to. The end goal, obviously, is to hit 1,000 subscribers one day. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, thank you so much for 700 subscribers. I just want to take this time to thank you all so much for the support. A lot of people from my Jacksonville Yu-Gi-Oh! community have recently been subbing to the channel because I posted that cheating, illegal plays, whatever you want to call it video in our Facebook group. And so a bunch of people have been watching it and some have been subbing. Thank you to all as a big ass car comes by my window. <laughs> thank you to all from Jacksonville and all over the world for subbing. It really does mean a lot. Um, you know, I've been on YouTube off and on for 11 years now, and I actually want to do a video where I react to a lot of my old content because a lot of people complain about my camera and my quality right now. Shit, imagine what it was 11 years ago. Like, those videos were absolute dog water and they're cringe, <laughs> but I think it would be a good time to go back and see how the channel has evolved and how I've evolved as a person. I mean... I started making videos when I was 14, and I'm 25 now, and I've gone on and off YouTube like four or five times now at this point. When I got my full-time job working in news before I went on medical leave from that job, I ended up not posting for like three, six months, whatever it was, and really the channel wasn't growing all that much anyway. Um, but now that I have more free time because I'm on medical leave due to my VHL that I've talked about in the past and my cancer and, and all that stuff, um, I've had a lot more time to make videos and really think about what kind of content that I want to post. You know, if I was working a full-time job right now and doing 40 hours a week, um, I wouldn't have time to be doing like Yu-Gi-Oh! retrospectives and things like that. But I actually have the time now to sit down, type up a script, record the audio. And it's great because it's it's a great way to bring in viewers. No one else is doing Yu-Gi-Oh! retrospectives. You know, SEMO is doing some format history. Capital G is doing like just generic history videos. Even Cali Effect has been doing some format history stuff. But no one was doing format retrospectives or history stuff before I started doing it. And no one to this day is doing format retrospectives like I am. We got that shit locked down. <laughs> so... It's it's been great to kind of see even like the bigger YouTubers evolve their content and um, you know post things like that because I think it's important to hold the history of Yu-Gi-Oh close to the competitive because one there's a lot of ways that you can learn uh, things in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh from the past. Um, it's interesting too to see how card rulings have changed from when they were originally used to now. Like uh, Drill Warrior is used a lot differently compared to how it's used today. Number one, it's not used at all, but then also two, it worked like Wind Up Rabbit. If you're familiar with Wind Up Rabbit, where it would vanish itself and then just come back and it wasn't a special summon. Now the Drill Warrior Synchro Monster is ruled differently. I don't know what the ruling is off the top of my head. I just know it got some sort of ruling change and then it was even worse than it was you know, now because no one's playing because it's just not good anymore. It's been power creeped. Um, so 801 videos, now 802, and 700 subscribers. Um, you know, I, I just want to make a quick short video and, and thank you so much for the support. Um, I also want to do a quick update that uh, either later today or tomorrow, probably later today, I will have a Mystic Mind, excuse me, um, deck profile up for post Albaz. Um, because really, other than Masquerade the Blazing Dragon, Mystic Mind still does very well, and my dad's going to play Mystic Mind, so I might as well throw out there what it is that he and I have concocted up. Mostly him, not me, because... I just pretty much take his bills and play them and piss people off. <laughs> so um, that is something that you can look forward to. I'm also working on another retrospective, uh, spoiler free. Uh, what I will say is that we're going back in time. That's all I'm going to say. So look at past formats um, way, way back, uh, maybe 20 years ago, maybe not. Who knows? You'll, uh, you'll have to see how that turns out. Um, because I've got the script, I just haven't started working on it yet. So um, that is something to look forward to as well. Um, and really, I mean, the channel is doing great, and uh, I'm looking forward to kind of talking more about some nostalgia things. Um, I've got a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! stories, and I really want to talk about those now that events are coming back in full swing. Um, like, uh, <laughs> I still have a story from, what was it, YCS Orlando in 2010, where my opponent got arrested. Yeah, that was the thing, and I was going to lose. We were playing Six Samurai because it was a Tier 1 deck, and we were going to lose, and my opponent got arrested. 
I ended up scrubbing out and going like X3 at that YCS. Um, but anyway, you guys, thank you so much for all of the support. I'm really hoping that I'll be getting some shout outs from uh, some other bigger Yu YouTubers that we can get to that 1,000 subscriber point because I really want to get there. Not even because I want to like monetize my videos. I don't really care about that. To me, the YouTube pie has already been eaten up to death. Um, you know, if I can make a little bit of ad revenue on the side, sure, great, but I'm already kind of pissed right now because YouTube just slaps ads on my videos whenever they fucking want to, and it really pisses me off because it's like I'm not even part of the AdSense thing, but yet they can just throw ads on whatever video they feel like. That's, uh, I've had people ask me too, like, why do you curse so much in your videos? That's why, because I don't want YouTube advertising my videos. I want to, them to just be up ad-free for you. Like, honestly, if you have ad block, just use fucking ad block. Like, <laughs> you'll never hear that from a Yugi tuber telling you to use ad block. Please use ad block if you can, because I don't want YouTube getting any money off my videos when I'm not getting anything off it. Like that's just highway robbery to me. Um, so if you got ad block, use it. Um, if you see me hit a thousand subs, then yeah, the ads are, are off of me. Um, but it, right now seeing ads with me below a thousand subs, that's fucking, uh, YouTube being an asshole. So fuck, 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 fuck YouTube. There. Now that should keep me ad free. <laughs> so anyway, all jokes aside, guys, thank you so much for all of the support and uh, look forward to more videos to come. And uh, also, if y'all don't mind, going in, if you're new to the channel, go and check out the hat format retrospective and also the Airblade Turbo format retrospective because I really put a lot of work into those videos. And they're not at 100 views yet, and it's really depressing. So I always shoot for at least 100 views on the retrospectives, and all of them have at least 100 views now, except for Airblade Turbo and Hat Format. You can save them to your favorites or save them to your watch later. You can even like the video, too, if you want to go back to it that way, which is what I prefer that you do, and also hit the bell. Um, and you can watch them, and then once, like if you get 10 minutes in, you want to come back to it later, just like the video or something like that, and then you can come back and continue watching. So also, they're all in a playlist from GOAT format all the way up, so you can watch the progression. So I have them in the order of the years that Yu-Gi-Oh! has gone through. Obviously, they're not going to be in the order that I post them because I kind of jumped around, but if you want to watch from like 2005 up, you can watch the playlist. So guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.